Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of our VGC 2020 Battle Series. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and today we're going to continue on with this X and Y team that we started playing yesterday on the channel. We're going to finish up the week with it before we move into something new next week on the channel. And as always, if you do have any preferences on anything you would like to see played on the channel, do let me know down in the description below and I'll see if what I can do and make sure we try and cover as many of the suggestions that we get as possible. But uh, just to recap the team, we've got Eval Tolzernius. Serena, Incineroar, Landorus, and Tapifini. As always, the team is down in the description below. There's a roll pairs, poke pairs. Try it out, and if you do, let me know what your thoughts are on the team. We didn't see very much of Ivelto yesterday, so I'm hoping in today's episode we will see a little bit more from the bird. Um, and as always, if you do enjoy this sort of content, please remember to leave a like on the video. Do subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon content. And uh, as always, like I always say, leave your comments down below. Just let me know what your thoughts are on the team in general, what your thoughts are on the battles or what you would like to see played going forward in the ultra series i'm just looking around now because uh, i i'm a bit conscious my um ds battery is on red and i don't think i've got a i don't think i've got a charger anywhere <laughs> handy so i'm hoping that we can get through at least this episode without any problems actually what's this what is this is this a ds one i don't think it is i think this is just a generic usb charger that's no good oh wait wait I have my magic bag, my magic world's bag where I keep everything. There we go, you see? Always prepared. Oh, not really, because if I was always prepared, it wouldn't be red. Right, we'll plug this bad boy in and make sure that we have DS action throughout this episode. Just be helpful. And there we go. All charged and ready to go. So we're just looking for our first opponent now. Uh, hopefully it doesn't take too long to find them. Battle spot seems a bit quiet today, and you know what? Today, I think, is today the day. Well, when I'm recording this, it's the 15th of October, so a month today, we're going to have Sword and Shield. I cannot wait. It's going to be so exciting. And there's lots going on in between then and then and now. So we've got... Um, I've actually got my parents coming to visit, which would be really nice. I haven't seen them for a little while, so they come down to visit me, Tash, and Thea. Uh, so that'll be awesome. That'll be like in a week or two's time. Uh, hopefully going up to the Pokemon Center in London with Scott um, because there's a pop-up stall there in uh, Westfield Shopping Center, which is pretty cool. And I think it's like going on for a month. Um, so it'll be nice to pop up there, see him as well. Um, events. I don't think there are any events um, coming up very soon. I think they're into November before there's an MSS in St. Austell that I think I'm going to try and go to. Um, so events, not too many, really. Um, and then and then it'll be Sword and Shield out. So, yeah, hopefully everything kind of ticks over. I swear I'm missing something. There's something big happening that I'm like, I'm missing out <laughs> what it is. But, yeah. We've got the Flinch Squad circuit starting. The episode will be up this evening of the first round feature match. We've got Angel from Spain. The Angel, a uh, 17, 19 rated player, um, and playing, oh, variant, it's Spain Rain, so we'll go into Team Preview. So Spain Rain, it is a very similar variant to what uh, Alex and Eric ran at Worlds and have been running recently as well, where you see Cortana over the Ferrothorn, but uh, the variation of that team with the Ferrothorn there, uh, it has got Kyoga, Rayquaza, Incineroar, uh, Tapakogo and the Nihiligo. So, Nihiligo causing us a few problems, of course. Landorus doing really nice things in this matchup here. So, I think we want to bring Landorus uh, and Edison Roll for the double intimidate. Uh, the Landorus gives us nice options against things like um, Nihiligo in particular, uh, Tapakogo as well. Uh, Ivelto is really good here against. Um, Kyogre puts a lot of pressure on there. It can deal with the Nihiligo to a certain extent. You've got to be careful about being doubled into. I think we need Xerneas in this matchup. And do we want Incineroar? Or do we want Finny? It'd be nice to have a switch in for the Kyogre. Um, but I think we need to have Incineroar, if I'm totally honest with you here. Uh, because the Ferrothorn otherwise is going to be really difficult to deal with. So we want to try and get rid of the Kyogre early doors. And then it opens it off for Incineroar to deal with the Ferrothorn when it does hit the field. It's 
It's going to be a tough matchup. It's going to be tough. There's a really well put together team. Um, but it's not one that's not winnable. I think if we just play it well enough, then we can we can kind of overcome it. So um, putting the pressure on certain things. Uh, and Landorus really helps out in that respect. You know, we might see fake out pressure here. We, we don't. We see Nile go, Kyoga. Uh, and this is a pretty easy turn for us just to go um, Earthquake and Snarl. And we put damage out onto the field um, and we get rid of the Nihiligo uh, with the double up. Because you'd expect the Nihiligo to be um, focus slashed. And even if it is a variant that has the Z move, it's not taking down Evelto. And if it is a Z move, then it goes down to um, Earthquake. So, I mean, we don't have too much to worry about here. Um, and. An ice beam after a snarl is not going to take anything down. So I think we're probably all right just to click that earthquake button and then go for that snarl. Nilega are going to be saved for later on, which makes a lot of sense. We're going to see Incineroar come out onto the field. We might see the Kyogre protect. Um, and that's, that's totally fine. But we don't. Okay, so we'll get some damage onto the Incineroar, which is nice. Get some damage onto the Kyogre as well. Also, good to help weaken like Origin Pulse and Ice Beam, and then this Snarl coming out on top of that, which is really the more useful of the the two attacks here, especially for that Kyogre. Um, so Kyogre going for an Ice Beam, and it's going to be into Landers, but we should take this after minus one. Oh, we don't take it. What? Come on, that's where the calcs come in. Okay, so that's not ideal at all. Um, right. Losing Landris like that's bad as well, uh, especially when Nile goes in the back. Um, okay, we'll bring in Incineroar. This is going to be really difficult now to deal with Nile Ego. I'm going to have to trade fake outs, I think. Yeah, I'm going to fake out the Kyogre and I'm going to bring in Xerneas here because I think I'm going to have to try and get a Geomancy up if I can. The problem is if we see the Oppose and Incineroar you turn out and then Nihiligo come back onto the field, that would be really bad because then we've got no way to deal with it because I think the best way for us to deal with Nihiligo now is going to be with our Veltor out onto the field at the same time, not switching it in. Um, Kyogre going to protect. Okay. We're probably going to see a U turn. U turn. Yeah. Oh no! Nihiligo coming back in. <laughs> you know when you walk in, like down the wrong road? You walk down the wrong road and you just know, but you keep going anyway. You think, it'll be fine, it'll work out. And it's not, it's not going to be fine. Nothing's going to work out. Although. I think we're going to have to be cheeky here because I think we're going to have to try and um, going to have to try I mean what are our options do you double the incineral that's what I would think my opponent would probably do so it makes me think we could potentially maybe get a geomancy up maybe And go for a U-turn into the Nile League, break that sash there in Geomancy, and we'll probably lose Incineroar to the double up here. Wow, okay. Continental Crush coming out, um, and this will probably be into Incineroar, I'd imagine. Unless you go into the Xerneas thinking, let's get some big damage off there. But they're doing this because they've got Ferrothorn in the back. I would imagine they want to get rid. Like it's the way to do it, isn't it? You get rid of the threats. You set up that wind condition. Uh, you get the beast boost as well, which makes things even more difficult for Eveltal to do anything. Special attack boost. Yeah, that's not ideal. And we kind of got to hope that this Kyogre goes for an Arch Pulse and it misses. But it's likely, with how good this team is consistency wise, it's got Scald. Oh. This is not going well. 
This is where Finney would have been a little bit better. Okay, the water spout. I mean, it's better than Origin Pulse. It does less damage. Okay. All right. Um, and then we'll bring Eveltal in. Well, I mean, we're going to see probably Clear Smog, right? Or does it have Clear Smog? I think back, I've been thinking that Alex is set. I'm sure it has, like... No, because he didn't have Power Gem, so... It probably does have Clear Smog, I'd imagine. Um, but, I mean, we can Snarl, for sure. And then, I think, just Moonblast. Moonblast the Nine Ego. Kyogre gonna go out and Incineroar, yeah. And I'm just hoping both our Pokemon can take an attack. And the Nihiligo protects, alright, so that's. Ah, if we dazzled there, if we dazzled, that would have been. I think we just got a double attack again, to be honest. Like, we can't protect Ivelto, so if we get faked out into Ivelto and they double Ivelto, that puts us in a really bad position going into the next turn. I think we got to Moonblast the Nihiligo and go for a Snarl and hope they go for the Ivelto. No! Okay, well that's, that's bad. But we actually outspeed the Nihiligo, which is kind of interesting. Okay. Unless we see a trick room here. Should be super bad. Yeah. But I mean, that's not the worst thing in the world, really. You can go for another Snarl. And I think we just protect Xerneas this turn. Because we haven't protected Xerneas at all. We've just been attacking with it. So I'm hoping my opponent just thinks, well, he's not protecting it. Let's just go for it. We'll get another Snarl off that would put us in a way better position. Unless we see Clear Smog. So this is another Snarl coming out from the Incineroar. And then we can maybe foul play the Nihiligo if we get this one off. Yeah, because we actually underspeed it. So we'll be able to maybe knock it out. Maybe? Maybe, I don't know. It's minus one now, so let's see where it goes. Proc and Berry on the Incineroar. Yeah, that's a bit annoying, because if we dazzle the turn it switched in, we wouldn't have to be dealing with this. We're going to see a power gem. Um, okay. It's not doing too much. Right, let's go for that foul play. I mean, we could sucker punch, because a sucker punch, a sucker punch, and uh, um, a dazzle will get the Nile Ego 100% here. Maybe not a Dazzle. Ivelto avoids the Snarl. We could have done with that onto the Xerneas. Okay. Let's see, Power Gem again into Ivelto. Take that like a champ. Dazzling game, come on. Let's see. Minus one. Uh, plus one, sorry. We don't get it, but I mean we're pressuring. The thing is, like, we're pressuring that Nihiligo now with, with Sucker Punch. So, we can definitely go for the Sucker there. Um... I don't know if it attacks though now. I think it might might not attack. So we could potentially go for an Oblivion Wing into the Incineroar and just go for another Dazzling Gleam. Because I think the Nihiligo either protects or reverses the Trick Room to maybe set up the Ray coming back in. Okay. Incineroar going out. This would be great if it's like required though because we'll get a chunk of chunk of health back. The Nihiligo might be trying to reverse the Trick Room though. I'm hoping that's what it does. Or tries to do. Let's see. Come on, come on. It's Ferrothorn. Okay, so the Blimming Wing not bad here, actually, because we'll get some... Oh, 
Oh, it does nothing. So weak. <laughs> Power gem again. Not going for it. We could have suckered there. Oh, man. It's gone from bad to worse. Yeah. And only being on plus one, it's a Ferrothorn. Mm. Incineroar going to come back in now. I don't think we've got a way to beat the Ferrothorn. We could get rid of the Nihiligo, but... <sighs> What have we got as well? Two turns of Trick Room left. And it's an easy fake out onto Eveltal now. And I don't think a Moonblast is going to get Azonius. The only thing we can potentially do, but I don't even think you would do this. Like you fake out Eveltal. Like you're not going to double into Eveltal. No way. And I don't think we take. I can go for a far play into the Ferrothorn and I'll just have to protect Xerneas. Because otherwise we just take a Gyro Ball. Just hope you fake out the Xerneas for some reason, which you wouldn't. Oh, we survive it! Okay, we might actually be in this now. I can't, <laughs> I can't believe that we took that. Evelto, Imaginary Sash, okay. Uh, this changes things quite a little bit. So. Well, it doesn't gleam get the incinero. That's the question, because a foul play. Hmm. I don't know if a foul play and a dazzle will get the ferrothorn. And the thing is, do you protect the ferrothorn this turn, expecting maybe a double end to it, where we could just moonblast the incinero? Um. Hmm. I think we're going to have to go for the Dazzle and the Foul Play. Like, I really want to go Moonblast Foul Play into Ferrothorn, but I'm going to go for it. If you protect the Ferrothorn, fair play. No, you don't. This should be enough to get the Ferrothorn, and then maybe we've got enough with Xerneas to... Got to hope this Foul Play takes down the Ferrothorn, though, as well. Yes, we get it! But we lose Incineroar. Uh, we lose Eveltal. Um, but we still got Azernius. Taking us down to the wire. Have we got enough to beat a Kyogre? No. Okay. This is fine. This is fine. I don't mind a U-turn. I would have I prefer this to a Flare Blitz. 100%. We're still plus one. Can we deal with the Kyogre Incineroar? Let's do this. Right. Oh, that Kyogre's got a lot of health. It's got a lot of health. It's got way too much health. I think that it all kind of hinges on uh, whether a Dazzling Gleam is going to be enough to take down the Incineroar. If it is, like we protect this turn, if it's enough to get the Incineroar, I think we can win this because I think we'll take at least one attack from Kyogre. So we'll protect. This is where like substitute on Kyogre would be phenomenal, wouldn't it? You just sub here and then it's like GG. Good game. Right, fake out, obviously. Uh, I think Origin Pulse. Oh, Scald. It is Scald. Okay. Right. Right. Let's go for it. We have to go for the Dazzle. We have to go for the Dazzle. We have to hope that it takes down the Incineroar. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Can we take the Scald? Come on. We don't want to burn either, because a burn would be bad for us. No burn! No burn! <laughs> we are going to win. How we've done that? How? How have we done that? I don't know, but I'm just going to say. Good game to my opponent, and great game to Veltal. Man, that was tough. That was tough, but we did it. We did it. We did it. I think if my opponent had protected the Ferrothorn... That turn, expecting maybe the double in, uh, and then taking down our uh, Eveltal with Incineroar with a U-turn, that would have been the play, um, and then you lock it up then. Um, but it's easy to say these things in hindsight, but great win for us to kick off with today. We'll jump into our next one. It's been a bit of a slog, that one, so hopefully our next one is a little bit, um, a little bit quicker, but um, I think like really good example to show like just don't give up even like when i felt like uh night league was kind of overtaking us here um it feels like you want to give up but we got scott up next from the united kingdom um let's hop straight into team preview see what he's got 
It's a pearl ugly! Okay, so we've got Xerneas and Moongus. We've got Tapu Fini, Incineroar, Duskmane, Necrozma, and pearl ugly. Pearl ugly, uh, it has got that divine defiant ability, so we need to be very careful around that. It does have fake out as well. Um, there's lots of stuff to stop pausing Xerneas setting up. You've got a Moongus, you've got uh, Finny potentially raw on um, Incineroar. I think mm, this is quite tough because I obviously want to bring out fake out support in Xerneas, but uh, for Xerneas with Incineroar, but I don't want to. Um, I don't want to proc the Defiant ability on the Pearl Ugly. Um, let's bring Finny in. Let's bring Xerneas. Do we bring Serena? Maybe Serena could be good here. Serena's good at dealing with things like uh, Tapu Fini. Um, I definitely want Ivaltol in this. Like, do I want Ivaltol? Ivaltol doesn't do great in this matchup, to be honest. Like, Incineroar is better um, just for the late game, coming in with a bit of fake out support. Do I want Ivaltol or do I want Serena? I think Serena's probably a little bit better in general. Yeah, let's go for that. It's going to be a tough one because it's just a tricky matchup. But if we can get rid of the Pearl Ugly and make things a lot easier for us. Uh, we've got Haze as well with our Finny to help against any potential setup from that Zernia, opposing Xerneas. Um, we're not going to see the Pro Ugly come out, so I think we've got a nice, we've got a nice opportunity here to bring in Serena and go Geomancy. Get around the fake out. Yeah, they're probably going to Geomancy as well, but I mean, like. One of our options is just go Haze and protect Azonius. But they might expect that. So we'll go into our Serena and we'll Geomancy. And hope that they go for the fake out. And maybe not Geomancy because they fear the they fear the potential Haze coming out. But they so we'll get our Geomancy off. They do go for the fake out. If they haven't Geomancy here, I think we can close this one down pretty quickly. But it will depend what they've done. And even if they have Geomancy here, it's not the end of the world because we do have Help in Hand, which kind of boosts our attack a little bit more than what my opponent can do. Uh, they go for the Geo as well. And we are the faster Xerneas. So... One of the things we could potentially do is switch into, um, oh, do we just attack? Because we could potentially, we could just, we could feint the Xerneas for sure, and Dazzle or Moonblast. I mean, that's not a bad idea. If we, if we feint and Moonblast, hope that they protect. No, they're not going to. Okay. Now, if we take a Moonblast and a Flare Blitz, it's not going to be ideal for us at all. So we don't want to lose our Xerneas. Now, we do get a special attack drop, which is pretty huge for us. Dazzling Gleam coming out. That's all right. And we'll take a Flare Blitz from this Incineroar. But Serena? I oh, know. It's fine. Man. Okay. Now, I think... Helping Hand... Dazzle Gleam should get both now. The Xerneas could protect this turn, but I think with the threat of Faint, it's probably not going to. We just need to hope we can take down this Incineroar with a helping hand. Oh, it does. It goes for the Protect now. Huh. Helping hand. Dazzle. Is it going to get the Incineroar? Yay. Okay, that's fine. Uh, now what comes in? And Cosma. Alright. <sighs> it's not going to Ultra Burst. At all. 
Like, it's just not, is it? But we do have Finny. We've got Incineroar to help deal with it. What are they going to have in the back? Because we can get rid of... We can definitely get rid of the Xerneas here. So we could just help in hand... Dazzle again. I think that's not a bad play. We're going to outspeed the opposing Xerneas. Um, and just get as much damage onto this Necrozma as possible. And once the Xerneas is down... Makes our lives a lot easier. So there's a helping hand coming out. We're not going to see the Ultra Burst just yet. It will Ultra Burst once Xerneas goes down there, I'd imagine. Are you kidding? Are you actually kidding? Going for the Double Protect is the only play you've got. You could have switched out. I mean... That really... That sucks a lot. Like, that. that's really not cool. Um, but, I mean, what, what, what can you say? What can you do, eh? Hey? Really annoying. I hate double protect. Hit it so much. And you know, every time I need it and go for it, I never get it. But who's complaining, eh? They're not gonna go for it now, are they? I mean all we can try and do is go for a fake out and a power whip into it. I think we've gotta we've got to Ah, uh, but the thing is though we can't do that. Because um, Serena will just go down. I think you you, t you take Serena down if you can with with Ultra and Necrozma, which is really annoying. Um, we could go help and hand Flare Blitz into Xerneas. And I can't roar at this point. Okay, Xenia switching out. Is that Finny coming in? Alright. And there's the Ultra Burst. Yeah. It's gonna go for the Serena. This match has got way more difficult. Uh, I don't know what to say. I really don't. I'm like, I'm sorry if I'm not really talking very much now. I just like, I just think double protect it should have never really happened. It shouldn't be a mechanic. But I mean, we, you've got to deal with these things. You can't really be too um, too mad about these sort of things. They are part of the game, of course. Will you turn into the Necrozma? Hopefully we can get something off there. Goes for the Protect, of course. We'll go for Nature's Madness into the Finny. Um, probably going to see... Like, what we know, we'll probably see a Nature's Madness into our Incineroar, so it puts us in Earth Power range. Okay. Um... And I mean either or all here. Uh, we can go the, we've got Icy Wind and then try that U-turn again. But we'll probably lose Finny now, I'd imagine. And I don't know if a U-turn's going to be enough. Here's the Z-move. We're going to have to cut, 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 cut. I mean, the other thing we could have done was go for a Helping Hand Moonblast into the Necrozma if we expected my opponent to go for the Double Protect. But I just, I don't know. I think that's too risky as well because we leave a boosted Xerneas unchecked. So, I, I don't know. Um, so, it's into the Finny. We will lose it, of course. Um, Nature's Madness coming out. Yep. I mean, we're probably in, we're probably in Moonblast range. And I don't think, 
Well, will the Flare Blitz take down the Xerneas? I don't know. Because I don't think we can beat the Finny, to be honest. If the Flare Blitz takes down the Xerneas, of course, I think like we've got every chance to maybe close this one out. But the Finny still got its berry. And we've just locked into Lincoln Flare Blitz on Finny. Because I'm not even paying attention. <laughs> I'm just clicking buttons. There we go. Hopefully this takes us down, you know. I really hope it does. Um, yeah, there we go. Forget it. Forget it. <laughs> Good game, Scott. I'll say that through gritted teeth because I just, I don't really, yeah, not good game. But good game to you, my friend. Not good game for us. Um, I'm not being unsportsmanship, but, you know, that one turn. Turn the tide, but never mind. We'll end it there. We'll end on that note. We had a really good game. Game one, nice and clean. And then we come into that one and then things go like that. But I think the thing to take away from this is you're going to get games like that. It's kind of rising above it and just forgetting about it, coming out on the other side of it and then just moving on because stuff like that in Pokemon, it's dumb. It will happen. And what can you do about it? You can't do anything. I'm going to leave you on that note. Have a great day, my friends. Have a, And I'll see you all tomorrow for another one. So until then, take care and bye-bye.